have to, because some of the process we are repeating from the past. Is that clear? Yes. Sir. Some of the process, what I say, to make panacotta, we made it in cremonglaise. What was cremonglaise? It's a custard. Selling custard. Custard, right? So to make uh, uh, mousse, and also to make tiramisu, we're making? Savillon. Savillon. Right? So it's pretty much the same process. So I'm not going to do savillon now, and savillon for tiramisu as well. So I'm going to show you both quickly. So you can make, if you make good savillon, you can make mousse, you can make tiramisu. Same. Savillon is a setting agent as well. Some of the recipe has gelatin in your uh, recipe, but if you use savillon, you don't even need gelatin. Right, so when, when I used to make tiramisu at work, and I used to make at work, so I don't use gelatin, okay? But just that, the tiramisu would be very soft. It won't have a stiff uh, setting, okay, because we like soft. If it has to be stiff, you add more gelatin. If it has to be more stiff, you add extra gelatin. Okay, that's why I removed gelatin from, uh, some gelatin from tiramisu, and I removed uh, gelatin from chocolate mousse as well. So that doesn't have to be really, really stiff. If you're making savillon, it helps stiffen. That's the reason you use savillon. And I added one extra in panna cotta. Why? Because the recipe said one leaf. Okay, one is always seven grams. Okay, these are smaller, thinner. Okay, gelatin when it used to get leaves, they are like one leaf. One in one leaf is always seven grams. They're more thicker as well. Whereas this one is about four grams, isn't it? Three is five. Three is five. Yeah, it's about three to four grams. This one. Okay. So this should be nice and soft and gel. All right. If we use uh, seven, it will be firm. Right. So I also have some extra. I'll see how I go. If I have to add a half extra, then I will add half extra for uh, the panna cotta. Okay. Is that clear? Yes. So we're using gelatin in multiple recipes together. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So first, sponge fingers is nothing but your sponge cake. Okay. Just that, this is a bit more drier version. Right. So there's no butter to it. All right. So this is a bit more drier version. So how do we make uh, sponge cake? How do we make sponge cake? Anyone of you, come on, quickly explain. Marie, uh, eggs, I uh, just put uh, flour. That's it. So you make meringue, egg white, egg yolks, sift the flour to, no, mix both together first, egg yolk and egg whites. Fold it together and then sift the flour down. Okay, and fold it, it's done. And then you use to put in the cake tin. This time we're gonna pipe it. Okay, using the piping bag, we're gonna pipe it on a tray. Okay, so toss us. Egg whites here, please. Boris, can you get a whisk from your toolkit? Egg white on it. Egg yolk. Uh, Jennifer, can you get me a bowl, please? Is it with something like this? Whisk, yes. Put your egg yolk in there and egg white there. Do you have a spatula? Uh, this is for the sponge fingers. Now this is for sponge finger. Panna is 
So for panic order, I'll okay. just move this side so that you don't like confuse. This. Yes, perfect. All right. So how did we make uh, custard? So I put the milk. Can I have another bowl, please? Okay, this is vanilla bean. You only need two grams. Okay, it's not much. So I'm gonna just. Uh, Any other two? Okay, that's just two grams. So that should be in. fine for now, Boris. Right. So next. Can you get a bit Boris for me, please? Yeah. All right. I'm doing multiple demos just because this is nothing new, should, should not be new for you. Custard view pedic, I've shown you before. Sponge in the, like sponge cake, you've done it before as well. Alright, so I've got two, two sugars here. This is just corn flour, isn't it? Corn flour, icing sugar. I think this is icing sugar. So we add one sugar here. Boris, you want to visit this for me, please? Yeah. So how long do I keep this? Just be until I say. Okay. okay. It doesn't dissolve and also it doesn't relieve the flavor. Only when it's warmed up, it releases the flavor. Can I have another ball, please? Sugar. When do we add the sugar? Once it has the soft peak. Yes. Right, so now it's got a soft peak here. That means bubbles. So that's the soft peak. See, it doesn't peak up. So this is very important. This has to start to bubble. Only then you add the sugar. If you add the sugar in the initial stage, that will fall. Yes. <laughs> Let's do one thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's different. Yeah. It's a different. Thing. So, fingers and pineapple. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you. Keep doing yours. Scoop. Yes. All right. And also, when you're making the panna cotta, you're making the, you're putting the custard back into the pot because it's only a little portion. You have to be very, very careful because there are very good chances the eggs will be cooked. <laughs> can smell vanilla, but I like to add a bit more. Two drops. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, stiff feet. Right, so that's good enough. Still not stiff, but it stiffs up. Because you're making a cake, that should be good enough. So now, well, Boris, that's enough. So I'm going to add some. Uh, got five portions of this. Why? Because we've already made this before as well and we don't need nine portions. Why? Because we already have the sponge or lady fingers. Right? It's called the sponge finger or the lady finger. Can you just bring, bring that beer for me please? Yeah. Hold this process. Yes, that's what we're trying to make now. Okay, so gently do that and then this towards the bowl and then fold. In and fold. Gently. Right? Don't put too much pressure on it. Okay. That. Thank you. 
So the same thing, you add some melted butter and then you pour it on a cake mix, cake tin, it becomes a cake. Right, this one's a bit more drier version. This has slightly extra uh, flour so that the cake becomes a bit drier as well. Scissors, kitchen scissors, to it. is done. Pipe it like eclairs. Boris, you want to try? Yeah. Just like that, okay? Perfect. Keep going, keep going. All right, next. After he's finished, just gently dust some icing over, over the top. Everywhere, toss us wherever you can, okay? Wherever you can. So, Liam, can you check the oven temperature over there? Yes, sir. What it? You are no help. Yeah, that's enough, Boris. Right. You can do it with others next tray. Okay? So, that goes. What it? Is it good? Yeah, about 12 to 13 minutes because it's only thin. Okay, it's done very quickly. Have you time up or a timer on? Good. So, eggs and sugar, and this is milk which is heated up. So, what do we do next? We tamper the eggs. Okay, how do we do it? Gently pour this into the Slowly, okay? And Boris, you keep whisking, okay? 
Can you keep your hand over here? Yes. yes. Keep whiskey. Pour it. Keep doing it, Boris. Keep doing. You don't stop, Boris. You don't stop. Yeah, that's good. Pour everything, pour everything. Pour everything. <laughs> good, quick, Boris. It's not, there's no scrambled eggs here. No. Still good. Okay, yeah. so then you put it back. Yeah. All right, so now we don't use a whisk, we use a spoon. All right, so gently keep mixing it until it coats the back of the spoon. So at this stage, it doesn't coat, it's all froth. Okay, so you should see here. A layer which coats the back of the spoon. Just keep mixing it, okay? Don't let it set. All right, over here with the gelatin leaves. Sorry, can I give that? Get that, uh, Chalipa? Can I get the half of the leaves, please? Just cut that and give me half. What is that? Cold egg. Old eggs, not egg yolks. But did I say egg yolks? That's okay. Alright, you can say it's egg yolks. So, uh, what happens is if we use just egg yolks, the panna cotta is a bit more richer. Okay, it's a bit rich. If it's whole eggs, it's a bit, it's a bit weak. Okay, the custard is a bit weak. The whole egg, uh, egg yolk custard will be a bit more out, out, out of the pan. Keep mixing there. So if you don't want a strong custard, you can use it. No, over here I'm just not trying not to waste the egg whites, that's all. It's still good. So I've got two and a half uh, gelatin leaves. It's firm first, right? Then it softens. You need to wait until it's soft. This is cold water again. If you put warm water, it will melt. And you won't see any gelatin leaves. It will be dissolved. Go for waste. Okay. Okay, over here. Again, because this is a small portion, this is only 200 ml of uh, milk. Okay, so you've got to be very careful. And you guys can do egg yolks. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's egg yolks or egg whites. It's just that panna cotta is a bit more creamier, a bit richer. Egg yolks is a bit rich. Egg white is a bit soft. See how it starts to coat? Okay, see. Right here. One or two minutes. And then once it gets, you feel it's getting too hot, then you take it out. Right, so do once again. Yeah, put it back on the stove. Process, back on the stove. It's cold, okay. Once the leaves become soft, you squeeze all the excess water. get a, a layer on the spoon and also you can see bits and pieces of egg cooking as well right yeah that's okay so just in case let's hold this Boris we strain the custard Okay, that's the bits and pieces of egg which is cooking. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Huh? Rhubarb, I'll demo it tomorrow so, or later today. It's just a compote which goes with the panna cotta. Okay. So this has to cool down. You don't have to do it by hand. Just because you, I want to finish it. Okay, I'm trying to do it by hand. Or you put it in the Okay, over here, the cream is gently whipped, okay, this does not have to be really thick, just gently whipped, okay. If I add this to the warm custard, this will become flat again, okay, so the custard has to be cold. And then, this gelatin leaves, I need to melt, if I just put it on top of the bain marie, it will melt, we did it before as well, but I want to do it once the custard's ready, okay? Once the custard's cold, I'm gonna melt this, put this in the custard, and then fold this with the custard mixture, and then I'm going to put them in the panna cotta molds, right? This could be gently sprayed as well. Not too much, because it'll you can taste it on the panna cotta, okay? So gently. Okay, very gently. All right, a thin layer so that it doesn't, it comes out a bit more easier, okay? So tomorrow, with a paring knife, just put it, you let some air go into the panna cotta mixture, panna cotta, and then when the air hits the here, then panna cotta will drop, okay? Okay, as I said, okay, next we're going to be making, we made the meringue, we made the custard, okay, next we're making the sabayong, so all the desserts is based on these three. How's it looking? Three more minutes. That's good. Okay, uh, Jisoo, can you get me a cake rack, please? A lot of ingredients. Separate the ingredients. All right, do have some patience and then your dessert will come out well. No patience, it will struggle. This banana is really ripe banana. Leave them out tonight. We'll let it be out. See how we go. If it's too soft, leave it in the cool, back in the cool room. If it's still firm inside, leave it out. All right, and tomorrow we'll make banana bread. But, but sometimes in the cool room, it just gets dark. The skin gets dark, but inside is not uh, soft enough. Chef, so today's scotch fingers, panna cotta and chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse and what else? Tiramisu. tiramisu. And tiramisu. How's it looking? Firm? Yes, I told you. Just the skin becomes dark. Outside is too dense. Right. And then. Now we're going to show you. You can count extra sugar. Good for you. 
This one looks perfect. Wait, take the wrong one. No, I'm looking at that one. I said it looked perfect. Which one? This one. Oh, you like This one's most similar to those ones. So. Wait, wait, wait. Take the wrong one. Alright, over here. It's not. Gelatin won't work. Okay? Slightly, slightly lukewarm. Okay? Room temperature. Melt the gelatin. Can you rinse your spatula for me, please? Uh, yeah. Spatula, spatula. spatula. Without soap? Yeah, without soap. The worst thing when it gets stuck to the actual butt the ball, such a terrible feeling when that happens. Sorry? It's a terrible thing when the actual ball gets stuck to the pot. Yes, sometimes, sometimes, yes. Okay, the gelatin's melted. Yep. Okay, if this is too cold, if this is too cold. This will just form in lumps. Fold this, Boris. Just gently fold this with the spatula. So that's nothing but custard, pouring custard. You're making into a anakora. Okay. Yes. And also, you can see the vanilla beans as well. When it's, it's it should have a little force yes. of black in it. Yes. It's like pepper. Yes, it's, you can see the vanilla beans in it. So it doesn't have a texture of similar to pepper. Yes. A black pepper. Oh, no, the rest is okay. Okay, now the panna cotta mixture is ready. You pour it in any... <laughs> See, that's the oh, lump of the... Panna, it was too cold. Okay, that it was, it was a bit cold, okay? So, make it sure it is stand, just though. room temperature, slightly warm, you add the gelatin leaves. <laughs> Tomorrow you present. <laughs> present. 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 So we do today. Right. So that's three panacora each. One for you, one for Boris, and one for Tossos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. I'll give you, now the time is 9.30, I'll give you one number, right, for sponge cake and panna cotta, right, four more portions, okay, so 
Sanjeevan, you're making sponge cake. Um, Niam, you're making a sponge cake. Uh, Number one, you're making a sponge cake. Uh, Chanipa, you're making a sponge cake. I think that's fine. That's it. Okay, Ryan's hiding. Okay, and rest everybody. And rest everybody makes the panna cotta. Is that clear? Yes. And, and also collect all your sponge fingers because when we make tiramisu, we're not making individual. We'll make a large tiramisu, taking to, like mixing two or three groups into it. Okay. So we do the panna cotta. Panna cotta. Very good. You know? You do, so do the same with the creme caramel as well. Okay, once it's cold, you do the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly... Should I keep mixing this? Yes. See? Ooh. Okay, you did too long. Yes. Yeah, it's tempting liquid. It's going to be a lot harder to make stuff. So, you guys don't do the hot water because it's melting. Because I put in the really hot water, it start to melt. The water was really, really hot. So lukewarm water. See this? Bad. Yeah, lukewarm water. See how it uh, is just mm. moving. That's a good panna cotta. If it is solid, if it is firm, then it's not a great one. Okay. So then, 